let's look at this question where we have to find eigen values and eigen vectors of a matrix over here so let us begin with the solution the first thing we will do is let us assume this matrix as capital alphabet a so this is matrix a and to find eigen values and eigen vectors we know the characteristic equation and the characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 okay where a is the given matrix which is this one then i is the identity matrix which is uh, diagonal elements are 1 and lambda is the eigen values right so we know this already and we have to find out the eigen values now uh, in this matrix this is a special case now i'll tell you what this special case is if you look at this one, this these are the diagonal values. And if you see all the values, all the elements below this diagonal are all zero, right? So now this type of matrix is called as an upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix will have all the elements below the diagonal zero. Okay, so we have upper triangular matrix. And for upper triangular matrix, you don't need characteristic equation. Okay, so let me write down a note here that for upper triangular matrix we do not need characteristic equation because in this case the eigenvalues are going to be the diagonal values only this is 2 2 2 and lambda is 2 2 and 2 okay so only this only in this special case you don't have to use characteristic equation you don't don't have to solve the way we usually solve okay you can directly get the answer so it's a good thing but let me write down the note more precisely okay the note is like this for u suffix t that is upper triangular which is like this comma lower triangular in a sense what if you have a diagonal element and all the values above that diagonal element are zero okay or a diagonal matrix diagonal matrix eigen values are same as diagonal elements now this is a property of eigenvalues and you have to remember this that if you have a upper triangular matrix or a lower triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix the eigenvalues are going to be same as that of diagonal values so we don't really have to solve we directly write down these as eigenvalues so lambda are the eigenvalues okay and they are three, right? And then all of them are two, two, and two. That's how I got it. So first part is done. We have already found out the eigenvalue. And now next we have to find out eigenvector. So next is for for eigenvector. Eigenvector. We will write this uh, as matrix A minus lambda I times X is equal to zero. Is how we write it. So this is going to be A minus lambda I. So if I do a minus lambda i, let's quickly write it. a is 2, 1, 0, 0, 2, 1, and 0, 0, 2, minus lambda times i, i is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and times x. Okay, this whole multiplied by x equal to 0. So now this will be, well, let's, let's just subtract this. You know it's point by point. So you will subtract this value minus we will multiply lambda inside so lambda times one is going to be lambda here so it's two minus lambda so this first value will be two minus lambda i hope you understand one minus this is going to be zero zero anyway so this one zero one will remain same one zero one will remain same similarly these zero 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 will remain same zero 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 only diagonal values will change so this will be two minus lambda again two minus lambda and this is also two minus lambda okay so that's the that's this part here so we got this matrix a minus lambda i now times x is equal to zero okay we can always write that x as a column matrix which is x1 x2 and x3 that's a column matrix and that is equal to zero so after we write like this let's just call this as say equation one okay so in now let's work with the case one there's only one case right now let's write it like that case one uh, say at lambda is two because you can see our eigenvalues are all two okay so let's see what happens at lambda is equal to two in equation one 
So let us substitute lambda is equal to two in the equation one. So when you do that, this will become two minus two minus two, two minus two. These are all zero. Okay. Let me rewrite that equation one. Now this one is over here. So I'm rewriting this equation. Okay. This is going to be zero, 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 all the diagonal values. And then this is one, zero, one. And then this is zero, zero, zero uh, times this is x1, x2, x3. And that is equal to zero. So now we have got it like this. Now what we will do is uh, let us write down uh, equation out of this matrix form. Do you see these two matrices are multiplied? So how do you multiply matrix? We will multiply the first row with the column then the second row with the column and then the third row with the column. Okay. And if you do that, we will get equations. Let me write those equations. First is first row, all these numbers multiplied with all these. Okay. So zero into X one is zero X one, one X two and zero X three. Let me write that. This is zero X one plus zero X two. Sorry. This is one X two. This is one X two plus zero x3 and equal to on the right hand side it is zero. So now this equation simplifies to x2 equal to zero. Do you see this is zero? Zero into anything is zero. This will become zero. Then this will also become zero and you'll get x2 is equal to zero. I hope you get that part. Now next is we will multiply second row with the column. So you will get zero into x1, zero x1. Let me write it properly. Then zero x2, this is zero x2. And then this is one X three, one X three is equal to zero. And this will give me X three is zero. So X two is zero, X three is zero. But now do you understand that uh, if, if we, if we get that the last one, okay, it's going to be zero X one plus zero X two plus zero X three equal to zero. Zero X one plus zero X two plus zero X three is equal to zero, which is just zero equal to zero, which is fair enough, but we don't really get anything here. So from this equation, we just don't get anything. So as of now, we have got the values of X2 and X3. They both are zero, but we don't have the value of X1. Okay. Now the only thing is we have to find out some value of X1. Okay. So now there is a procedure that you have to understand. And it is like this, that if you remember, uh, we have this matrix over here, whose rank is two. Okay because we have the first row, which is non-zero. This one is non-zero and the second row is non-zero, but the third row is zero. Do you remember rank is equal to number of non-zero rows rank equal to number of non-zero rows. Okay. And that's why I say the rank of this is two. Now, do you see that number of variables? How many variables do we have here? X one, X two, X three. Okay, that is n is equal to three. Okay, and the rule says that number of parameters that you will require are always n minus r. Okay, now I also want you to observe that this this is uh, x is equal to zero or a homogeneous system of equation. Okay, where we have number of parameters as n minus r. And n is three and r is two. So this is going to be three minus two. So you will need one parameter. Okay. And let that parameter be anything. You can say K1 or T1. So let me just call that parameter as T1. So I have one parameter T1, which I can use anywhere I want. Okay. I already have the value of X2. I have the value of X3. And the only thing that I don't know is X1. So why not? Let's say X1 is equal to T. Okay. So the whole red part that is written over here is the concept of a homogeneous equation, homogeneous system of equation, which looks like AX is equal to zero. I hope you recall all this part, but anyways, I hope you followed this so far. So we have X two zero X three zero and X one is T one. Okay. So let us write down all these values. Therefore X is equal to the eigen vector is X one X two X three, right? We have all the values. The value of X1 is T1. Do you see that here? The value of X1 is T1 and value of X2 is zero. Value of X3 is also zero. So we have these two zeros. Okay. Do you understand zero is nothing but zero T1. Okay. And I can take now T1 out. So if I take T1 out, it will be one. This will be zero. This will be zero. So therefore we just write down the multipliers here. We don't take these constant outside. 
So X is going to be 1, 0, 0. And now this is your eigenvector. Okay. Now this is how you solve a question like this. 